Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So, I have an unboxing today. Now, this box showed up on my door unannounced. I didn't order it. I don't know what's in it. But I'm going to tell you a little, a little story real quick. Um, so, um, I've mentioned this several times, but in case you're new to my channel, um, I am not affiliated with yarn companies at all. Um, I choose not to be sponsored by yarn companies, and I choose not to be affiliated with them in any way at all. Um, now, there is nothing wrong with those that are sponsored by yarn companies. I mean, no, there's nothing wrong with it at all. And there's nothing wrong with having affiliated links. Me, though, that's not my style. I prefer not to have those things. So, when yarn companies um, message me, and they say, hey, I'll send you some yarn. You want you want some free yarn to use for your tutorials and stuff? I always say, um, I don't accept free yarn to use for my tutorials. And I don't sponsor, or I don't, uh, I don't um, work with yarn companies in a way to promote them. But I will accept your free yarn for giveaways. That's what I say. And I, you know, um, I don't have affiliated links to where if you click on a link of mine that it, I get money if you buy their yarn. I could care less if you buy the yarns that I'm showing you. I'm just trying to show you good deals. That's all. I, that's what I'm about. So, so that's what my channel is. It's, it's nothing to do with any yarn companies at all. Um, like I said, I don't accept their free yarn. Only uh, accept it if I'm going to give it away to you guys. I don't keep it for myself. I can buy my own yarn. It's just easier that way. And it makes me feel better. Like if I'm going to do a review on a yarn, I feel better knowing that I bought the yarn and I can say whatever I want to say about it. You know, if I um, was given the yarn, you know, this is just me. I mean, I'm not saying anything bad about anybody that, that does that. But if I was given the yarn, I would feel deep inside that maybe I should say things only say things nice about it, you know, since they were, you know, kind enough to give it to me. I'd, and I don't want to have to feel that way. So I don't accept yarn from any yarn companies. I don't accept money from any yarn companies. It's just me doing my thing. But every once in a while, a yarn company will send me yarn without me knowing. And there's nothing I can do about it. You know what I mean? And it's their way of saying, thank you, uh, usually for something that I did, um, usually for like, um, they'll say thank you just for using their yarns or thank you maybe for an unboxing I did of a cell and I, you know, sold them out of their yarns, stuff like that. And you know what, that I can't control when they do that. And that type of, when I get that type of box in the mail, it's actually really nice. I appreciate them when they do that. You know, they were thinking of me, they just did it just to be kind. They didn't want me, you know, they didn't want nothing from me. They don't want me to like shout out their yarn company or anything. You know, they just did it to be kind. They don't want nothing in exchange for it. And I think that's nice. So I got this box today on my porch and I'm like, what is this? I didn't order this. I didn't order any of it. This is from the Spinrite Yarn Factory in in um canada now if you remember if you watch my channel i did an unboxing of their huge truckload cell that they had in um october and i felt pretty bad about it because they were a small company and they got bombarded with orders i mean bombarded and i you know i thought you know they don't have a lot of employees <laughs> And I felt super bad. I did tell them, though, when I placed my order that I was going to unbox it. But I don't know if maybe they underestimated um, the BOD community of it in a good yarn sale. But I think I, I uh, put them in a slump. And I felt really bad about it. And I emailed them and I apologized. But they said, no, no, that, that they didn't care. They, you know, that they enjoyed it. It was good for business. You know, so... But anyways, I got this box on my door from them, and I don't know what's in it. It's nothing I ordered, and I can only think that this is probably, I'll read, maybe there's something inside of it. I'm going to open it up. It's a big old box. I'm going to see what's in it. Pretty excited. You know, I always love it whenever I get a box in the mail that I didn't order from a yarn company, because I know what it is, 
usually it's a sincere thank you for something that I have done for them and they want nothing in return and that means a lot you know because a lot of yarn companies they just want to give you stuff because they want you to promote them and, and stuff like that and I'm not about really about that but when a yarn company goes out of their way to just send me something without telling me I know it's all it's all in good intentions it's all in all sincerity that they just sincerely want to thank me for something so I've gotten yarn from Hershner's as a thank you and Mary Maximum as a thank you for stuff that I've done from them and it's always greatly appreciated so here's a letter let's see what it says it says crystal they probably don't even know that I'm gonna <laughs> unbox this on camera I just thought maybe I would share with you guys what happens to me once in a while and it makes me feel really good it says crystal Thank you very much for advertising our truckload sale here at our store. Here is a box of goodies for you to enjoy on us. All the staff at Spinrite Yarn Factory Outlet. See, that is so, it's so unexpected. I didn't expect them to do that. I didn't have no idea they were going to do that. But this is the most sincere form of a yarn company um, saying thank you to me, you know. They don't expect anything out of me at all. They're just happy, you know, that I, you know, that I told people about their sale. And I didn't expect anything from them for doing that. And they knew that. But they still wanted to say thank you. And that's super kind. If you're watching Spin Right, thank you very much. It's almost makes me even cry. It's super sad when you're uncomfortable. You know, like I said, Hirschner's has done that to me before. And Mary Maximin, you know. They sent me little boxes of yarn, just as a token of thank you, wanting nothing in return. And that's the best, you know, when someone does something for you and they want nothing back. That's just the best. So let's see what they sent. Do you want to? Okay, so they sent some burnout blanket stripes. Two balls of that. 100% polyester. If you guys are familiar with the blanket yarn. I like the colors. Pretty pink, purple, and orange. And these are the big balls. 10.5 ounces, 220 yards per ball. There's some more. Is this the same color? Yep, same color. So I got four balls that looks like they're not the same, but they are. They're just wound different. So I got four balls the same. So that's like almost 900 yards. I can make something out of that. Awesome. That's super cool. I just can't get over how nice it is. It's such a surprise, you know. I love it. And here's the, let's see, this is Burnett uh, Cozy Style Yarn. It's a medium weight number four, 100% acrylic. 1,015 yards of a four weight yarn. That's a nice ball of yarn. I'm going to open this up and give it a little bit of a fill so I can see. Burnett Cozy Style. It feels like a Red Heart with love. It's softer than regular Red Heart, in my opinion. I like it. That's nice. That's a lot of yardage, too. You know? 1,015 yards. 16 ounces. So, there's a pound of yarn there. I like it. It's a really pretty purple. Thank you so much. That's so nice. There's some more of the Burnett Cozies. This is a, like a Kelly Green colored. Hunter Green, I guess. <laughs> the biggest smile on my face when I get surprise yarn boxes from yarn companies because I just can't say it enough. To me, it just feels like the most sincere form of a thank you that they could ever give me. You know, because like I said, they expect nothing from me. They don't even expect me to open it on camera. They just did it out of the kindness of their heart and it's just so nice. Here's a pink one. That's pretty. Pretty. Ooh, you guys know I like brown. I like that. So a lot of yardage in these balls for that cozy style. This is like a country blue color. Sorry, I'm not going to open them all up. There's more in here still too. It's a big ball. Oh, ooh, I don't know if I've ever seen a big ball of cotton this big. Let's check it out. This is the Burnett Handicrafter Cotton. It's a big ball of that 
two of them too, the same. And it's a pretty seafoam green color. I like it. It's a medium four weight, 100% cotton, 647 yards. You know what? I have may have seen a ball this big one time. I might have had this one time. I don't have any right now. I got little balls. <laughs> I don't have any big balls. This would be great for kitchen items and stuff like that. I like it. Thank you very much, Spin Right. So nice. So there's two of those. I got over 1,200 yards of that cotton. I can definitely make something with that. And this is the type of cotton I think softens up after you wash it. There's more. And I got some of this Bernat Sheepish yarn, which is a roving type of yarn. I have some of this here, and I really like it. I can add this to what I, I like the yellow. I think it's pretty. I can add this to what I have. It's called Lime. Um, it's a medium weight number four, so it's similar to like um, Red Heart Unforgettable. It's not quite as shiny, but it does have a little bit of a shine on it. So they sent me six tins of that. Very nice, huh? I'm not done. Here's some tiny Burnett Handicrafters. So this is what, this is the kind of cotton I have here. These little skeins. I've never had the big ones. Very nice. This was called Blueberry. You know, it's a medium weight number four, 100% cotton. So it's just like the big ones, only little ones. Um, what's the yardage? 80 yards per skein, and I got six of the blue. I need to get some more cotton up in here, too. I gave away a big cotton, a couple cotton giveaways, and I ran myself out of, of cotton. I need to get some more. I got more here. What's this? Burnett Lovey. Open it up. Check it out. <laughs> I want to. I'm just so thankful that they did that. It's so nice. I keep saying it, but. Burnett Lovey. Look at that. That's interesting. It is um, a bulky five. Yeah, I'd say so. 100% polyester. It's nice and soft. 77 yards. They make a cute little hat. Well, actually, I got six of them, so I can make like a baby sweater or something with that, or like a, I know a lot of people want a bit more baby boy stuff, like a newborn baby set or something. Probably, that'd probably be close to being a newborn size. It's soft, I like it. It's pretty. Hmm. Actually, since it's a bulky five, I could probably make bigger size than newborn. I like that. Um, and then I got some Burnett Pip Squeak yarn. I like the Pip Squeak. I made a blanket out of this. I'm like, I have one on my channel. It's like uh, a Terry spun yarn. Super soft, too. It's nice. Burnett Pip Squeak stripes tested for harmful substances. 9.8 ounces, 284 yards, and it is a bulky five. That's a pretty color. This one's called Oct Octopus Garden. I like it. I don't have this color here. It's so soft. I like to make blankets out of this, and I also sometimes I like to add another like a lightweight three yarn to it. It's easier to crochet that way, but sometimes I don't. And I got it in this color, which I don't have this color either. Two skeins of it. And the dreamboat color. Pretty, pretty. What's that? Oh, it's cardboard. Okay, there's one more thing in here. Well, two more. Ooh. Burnett Softy Chunky Stripes. I thought right off that was Caron. Caron uh, Cakes. I don't, I've never had this. I thought it was Caron chunk, Chunky Cakes. But feels like them. Have you guys ever seen this before? It looks like Karen 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 Chunky Cake. Let's read about it. It's uh, ten point five ounces, three hundred and sixteen yards, super bulky number six. Velvet roses is the color. It's very beautiful. They actually sent me four cakes of the same color. Just one second here. I'm going to compare it to a, a, a Karen Chunky Cake real quick. 
can see the difference in the just real quick um 297 ounces in a Karen chunky or 297 yards I'm sorry 316 in the Burnett softy chunky it's actually softer than the Karen cakes um not by a lot I got to do the weird uh yarn test to feel it out yeah, it's softer. You can definitely tell that it's softer. I like that. I might start getting these. I've never had these before. Burnett Softy Chunky Stripes. And I like chunky yarn. So I got, they sent me two packs of, of two, all the same color. Wasn't that nice of them? Gosh, that was so nice. This is some pretty stuff. Everything they said is beautiful. I really appreciate them doing that. I mean, it's such a surprise. It makes me so happy. It just makes me feel uh, um, appreciated by the yarn companies. I know that, um, you know, I know all my followers appreciate me. And I appreciate all you. But when it comes to when you're dealing with yarn companies... Sometimes it's hard to get an appreciation out of them. Because um, they're so big. And I, when they send things like this, it just makes me feel like, hey, they really appreciated what I did for them. And they expected nothing in return. They just wanted to say thanks. Thank you so much, Spin Right. You made, <laughs> you made my day. You did. So thanks everybody for watching. You guys have a good day. Bye-bye.